guys, I'm Yanka Peterson and I'm currently a GIMP 1 student at Wits University. So this is basically just a little bit of info and insight on my journey um, on how I found the web, how I prepared for it, etc. So just to take you guys back, um, in high school I really strived and tried to achieve marks that were good enough for getting in for medicine because I knew that at the end of my matric year that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go study medicine. Uh, so I tried to stay at the top of my class, I tried to keep my marks up but unfortunately at the end of my matric year I was not accepted for medicine at any of the places I applied to. So that meant I had to go follow plan B. <laughs> Plan B was doing a BSc in Human Life Sciences at Stellenbosch University. So, having matriculated in 2015, I went off to my first year in 2016. And at the end of 2018, I graduated my undergrad. I decided to again apply everywhere in 2018 for medicine. And again, I didn't make it in. So, I then had to do, a, oh, I then did an honours degree because I knew I'd want to continue studying because I still wanted to get in for medicine. So I didn't want to stop studying and just wait for anything or start working. I knew that if I kept studying, I'd also just build my knowledge. So I did my honours in medical physiology last year. Um, last year, again, I applied everywhere and I wrote the WAP. And thankfully, I am finally yeah, doing medicine. So I actually wrote the WAP twice. I wrote it in my third year and then I wrote it last year during my honours year. So to give you guys a bit of background of how it went in my third year, um, back then I was so focused on graduating and I was so worried about actually graduating and doing well um, that a lot of my time and effort went into assignments and tests for my undergrad and I put very little time aside to actually study for the WAPT. Um, Due to this, the WAP did not go down well. Um, I didn't do well. I didn't pass it. And I knew when I walked out of there that it didn't go in my favor. So then I waited for every, all the other universities to get back to me. And um, again, I didn't get in for medicine anyway. So this then led me to doing my honors here. But when I went in to do my honors, I knew that my ultimate goal is to get in for medicine. And I set a precedent for myself of making sure that I do my utmost best in everything and try and ensure that I give my best in all the applications, in um, the WAPT again, if I was able to write it again. Um, so when I got the notice that I could write the WAPT, I made sure that I set aside at least six weeks, like six weeks minimum, that would focus solely on the WAPT work. So um, I'm a person who like verbally learns. I read the notes, I read the stuff, I read it all out loud and I take it all in. And um, that is that is how I study. Um, so I took the six weeks and I divided it and I said two weeks for anatomy, two weeks for molecular medicine and then two weeks for the physiology. And that week leading up to the WAPT, I made sure that that was like revision purely. So I worked really hard to make sure I got through all the work in the set allocate times because I knew that if I set myself time limits to it and when it needed to be done, that I would get it done. And um, during that time, I really had to prioritize the WAPT and prioritize that goal and that dream of doing medicine over anything else in my life at that point. So I would go during the day, do my project, do my experiments for my honors program. And then I'd get home and I would focus solely on the work that needed to be studied for that day. And over the weekends, I didn't do anything else besides literally study for the WAPT. Um, this really obviously had me really well prepared, but at the same time, I felt a lot of pressure. Um, and I think last year, the pressure for me was so much worse because of the fact that I had written it before and I had failed it the first time around. So I was like, I can't fail it again. This is literally, the WAPT is literally physiology and anatomy is what my undergraduate degree was based on. I majored anatomy and physiology. So this was really important to me to make sure that this time, I gave it my all and I gave like proper attention to it. So I um, studied 
so so much and I put in all the effort that I could and the pressure was quite quite overwhelming and I think the most important thing for me was the pressure came for myself like no one else put pressure on me and my parents would support me in whatever I decided to do um, but I put pressure on myself to make sure that this time I achieved my goal and that this time I made myself proud because I wanted to make myself proud I want to make my parents proud um, so even the day of the wept i felt a lot of pressure and um it also came or stemmed from the fact that i had done it before so i knew what the atmosphere was like going into that hall and let me tell you it's like it's a hectically intense atmosphere um so i knew all of that so the pressure going in was a lot but at the same time when i sat down I also was calm because I knew what was coming. I knew what lay before me. And it was then kind of easy to just tell myself for the next couple of hours, I can't focus about what on what ifs or what happens if this goes wrong and all that. I literally just focused on the work and on the exam. And there was a lot of prayer that went into it as well. And a lot of trusting that what would happen would happen and how it would work out would be the way it's supposed to be and yeah when I walked out of there I just had faith that I had done enough and I just prayed a lot and a week or two later I can't remember exactly when I found out that I had passed the WAPS um, it was the most ecstatic day and um, my whole honors <laughs> my whole honors group was actually with me in like our cubicle areas we were working when I got the email and it was just a really exciting time and it was so amazing to know that hard work pays off and finally all that effort and all that time I spent and the time I sacrificed from other places um, ended up paying off and I, I past it so then the waiting game began and let me tell you that's the most stressful part um waiting to hear like are you part of the amount of people that they can actually accept into the program um so when i found out i got in it was i think truly the best day of my life so far and it was just an amazing experience and I'm so thankful to be here now and honestly I love it I love what we are studying I enjoy the content so much and it's a lot of hard work but I know that this is where I want to be and this is what I want to do so I've changed a lot about my study like skills my organizational skills my time management skills to make sure that how hard I work to get in here is how hard I will work till I've graduated and to be the best that I can be in the field one day. Um, so basically my advice to anyone that wants to write the web or is still trying to get in for medicine is the biggest thing is don't give up. If that's your passion and that's your dream, um, there's no point in giving up or listening to people that say to you, oh, but like you've already been trying for so long, like maybe you should do something else. No, like it's really important that those who truly value the, this and really like that's what you're aiming for and that's what you want to do. It's important to keep trying and to keep going for it. And, um, you know, you don't give up and you have to prioritize that. You have to prioritize your goals and your dreams in your life so that you can achieve what you want to achieve. Or, um, I mean, if I did it in my third year in 2018 and I didn't make it, it would have been very easy for me to say like, wow, I didn't make it the first time around. But for me, it was a thing of prioritizing where I want to be one day and prioritizing my goals. So I think that's my biggest advice to anyone that wants to do medicine and that is aiming to get in through the WAPT and into the GEM program is just really put aside time to prioritize who you are and what your goals and dreams and aspirations are and don't give up on them. Um, trust that they will come to fruition and trust that um, it will work out the way it should and in the end I can say as well like the long journey did me a lot better than just getting in straight after school I learned a lot more about myself and different ways of how to go about life and organize studying skills and um, time management all that you I've learned all these skills so don't feel um any type of like oh but I'm going the long journey or why is it taking me so long to get there don't feel that because in the end we 
honestly pick up so many life skills and so many things throughout our journey to get where we want to get and what you learn along the way is definitely going to help you um, when you get when you get into medicine one day so don't stop going after your dreams um, just put in as much as you can to achieve that which you want to achieve and don't give up our greatest glory is never in falling but in rising every time we fall if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these thank you to the new subscribers very much appreciated